This is Aries Love Reading for January 2018. Okay, so what I see, Aries, is that you're going to enter into a past life relationship and or karmic relationship, okay? Um, if you haven't already. Now, when you do meet this person, you'll most likely meet them through friends, okay? And um, I think right from the beginning, you're going to feel very connected to this person because it's a karmic relationship, okay? You would have known each other in the past. But there's something that you need to realize about karmic relationships. Karmic relationships are usually not meant to last. And I'm not trying to put a damper on your love life, um, but I just, I have to be uh, honest with you. Um, karmic relationships are supposed to come in to teach you lessons. So once you've learned the lesson, then the relationship serves no purpose, okay? So typically, they those relationships end. Now, also what you should know from karmic relationships is that because you've known this person in a past life, it will feel like you, you've already known them, which is accurate. But, um, so, uh, the relationship will come very easily, um, and it will, uh, be very quick, very fast. And Aries love relationships like this because, um, you know, they're just that type of person where they move fast, they know what they want, and they go after it, and, like, nothing's gonna stand in their way. So, when you first meet this person, I mean, you're gonna be, like, professing your love for them almost immediately. And you're gonna be, head right into the honeymoon period with them. Um, now, what I believe, what the cards are saying here, what I believe is that what your um, karmic lessons are going to be from this person um, is, number one, for you to um, realize that it's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to open up to this person and not be so controlling about your own um emotions and feelings, okay, because I think, uh, Aries, you sometimes like to keep things hidden, keep things bottled up, okay, and something that's going to be really important for you to learn is how to let go of some of that, con the control issues, and, um, be able to express, really truly express your love, um, and feelings, um, and also, you need to stay optimistic in regards to trust and trusting the other person, okay? So uh, there may be some trust issues that you have from past relationships or just in general um, trust issues uh, from your past. And you need to really stay optimistic and learn how to trust somebody. Because also what you do is that sometimes, you know, when you don't trust somebody, then you'll shut down and you'll sort of do a preemptive strike. And you'll say, well, uh, I don't trust this person, so they shouldn't trust me either. And that's a control tactic, okay? So you really need to um, not go there and let yourself trust somebody. Now, um, what I see is that you could end up marrying this person, okay? But I wouldn't advise marrying this person because, um, you know, it's a karmic relationship, so it very well could end. It could end in divorce. But um, if you don't marry this person, this person will inspire thoughts of marriage in you. Um, so you may think of marrying them, or you may, th you know, come to the realization that... Um, oh wow, I can uh, truly love somebody, I can let somebody love me, I can trust somebody, I can let somebody trust me. And once you get to that place where you are you feel so safe and that, you know, you don't have to control these things, that you can let it um, 
be its own entity, then you'll realize, wow, I do want to get married, I do want to fall in love, and even though it's not this person, I'm going to go find my true love, my soulmate, and get married and have a family. So, um, so definitely um, let those things happen and, and let, um, let the, the healing begin. Learn those lessons and it will teach you so, so much. Now, um, for, for, sorry, that was for singles, for couples, um, well, what I see is that you, you probably met your partner, uh, through your friends, and, um, you definitely, um, you're with someone who's a karmic relationship, so it may not last, and the reason being is because, uh, karmic relationships are meant to teach us lessons and they're not usually meant to last. Um, and what I'm seeing is that there are some issues that you're having c right now with control issues and trust issues. Control issues uh, of like letting somebody in, expressing your feelings, letting the, your emotions and feelings come out, um, and also um, being able to trust them and letting them trust you okay um, now you're currently in the honeymoon period with this person and you you could have married this person um, if you're not married to this person they probably have inspired thoughts of marriage in you meaning like you thought about marrying them or you've maybe thought about that you finally feel ready to get married or that you want to get married. Now, um, I think that, you know, the most important thing here is just to try to work out these issues and learn these karmic lessons and maybe realize that, you know, this person that you're with, they may not be the person you're going to be with in the long run, but they're going to teach you great lessons of being able to express your love and no learning that it's it is safe for you to to love and to be loved and learning how to trust some, someone else and letting someone trust you and not using that control to um do a preemptive strike and say like well i don't know if i can trust them so they certainly can't trust me and you know that's that's just a control tactic at keeping yourself safe right but you need to um, open up and realize that it is okay and you know not every relationship um, has to end in marriage okay sometimes it's okay to learn the lessons and stay friends and and then go your separate ways okay so um, that's your reading, Aries, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and let me know if you'd like a personal reading, um, and thanks for listening.